Oh yeah, let's read it and go on an adventure. Hey friends, welcome to Papa Read This. Today we're going to be reading Tremendous, Diary of a Not Yet Mighty Oak by Bridget Hios, illustrated by Mike Cicatello. Year 1, Day 1, April 5th. Hello world! They say that from the smallest acorn, the mightiest oak tree grows. I hope that's true. Year 2, April 5th. I'm turning one today. Oh, how I wish to be a tree like all my relatives in the forest. That's my grandmother over there. And those are my aunts and uncles. Of course, there are other families in the forest too, like the walnuts. They're a little nutty, if you ask me. The florals, which have a certain buzz about them. And the pines, that one family who always goes overboard with Christmas decorations. Though the forest is filled with trees, I mainly hang out with my brothers and sisters. We're just an average family, all 10,000 of us. My twig mates and I are especially close. Sometimes too close. Ugh, scooch over! September 22nd. It's getting cooler. One by one, plink, my brothers and sisters fall until finally, wee, it's my turn. Uh, now what? September 24. By mom's side. We have it made in the shade, but each of us must find our own place in the sun. October 10. I catch a ride with a furry friend. November 1. Oh no! I've lost my cap! And where is that squirrel anyways? It hid me and then never came back. Worst game of hide and seek ever. <sighs> Might as well snuggle in and catch some Z's. Year 3, March 23. I'm rested and ready for spring. In fact, I'm bursting with energy. Whoa, I did it. I sprouted. Root, check. Stem, check. Leaves, check, check, check. Hey. I'm growing right next to Grandma and one of the pine seedlings. The three of us spend our days soaking up the sun. Ah, that's the stuff. October 14. I just noticed I'm growing all these little buds. What's up, bud? Hello there, bud. Oh, hey, bud. I wonder what that's all about. It's getting c -c -c cold Pine trees' leaves are still green as can be, but mine are changing color. Ooh la la, I'm a redhead now. <sighs> Getting sleepy. Year 4, March 20. Ding, 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 it's spring, spring, spring. My buds are bursting into stems and leaves. Now I'm taller and more gorgeous. What makes my leaves so shiny and green? Amazing chlorophyll allows my leaves to absorb sunlight and carbon dioxide from the air. Then poof! Like magic, the sunlight changes the water and carbon dioxide into sugar, aka tree food. Sweet! This is called photosynthesis. It's complicated. I'm complicated. September 3. Good morning. And what a morning it is. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. Insects are attacking me. Hey, buzz off. Luckily, I'm what you call thick-skinned. Each year, I grow new layers of wood and bark. My new bark carries food to all my parts. My old bark protects me from pests. Shoo, shoo. <sighs> I just have so many layers. Year 5, April 9. 
I'm four and a half feet tall now and a little thicker. Last year's new bark is now old bark, and last year's sapwood is now heartwood, which helps me stand straight and tall like the fine young tree I am. My new layer of sapwood carries water up and down my trunk. The rainwater flows up through my roots, trunks, branches, and twigs as if my leaves are drinking it through a straw. <clears throat> ah, refreshing. Each spring and summer, I grow and grow and grow until... Year 10, April 5. I'm a 10-year-old tree standing 20 feet tall. You know what they say, time flies when you're having sun. The great thing is, I've grown so tall that I can now see my mom and my brothers and sisters and the pines and walnuts and florals. April 26. I feel like I'm part of something big now. Remember how I said my leaves absorb carbon dioxide? Well, too much carbon dioxide in the air causes global warming. Trees slow down global warming. At the same time, my leaves release oxygen, which animals need to breathe. Not to be sappy, but trees make the world a better place. June 28. It's hard to believe that I started out as a teeny tiny acorn, and now I'm a mighty oak. Well, almost. Year 20, April 5. I've started sprouting flowers, just like the florals. Oh, my heartwood. Some of my flowers are turning into little acorns. They look just like I did as a seed. Anatomy of me, an oak tree. Leaves, leaves are my food-making factory. Flowers, they produce my seeds. Acorns, baby me, with water and sunlight, acorn me will sprout into tree me. Branches and twigs, after sprouting from buds, they provide a place for my leaves and fruit or flowers to grow. Trunk, it allows me to stand straight and tall and carries food and water up and down me. Roots, they hold me in place and absorb water and nutrients. Getting to the heartwood of me. Heartwood, once sapwood, it is now deadwood. As long as I am healthy, it does not decay, but rather remains at the center of me, helping me stand straight. Sapwood, my new layer of wood carries water up my trunk to my leaves. Cambium cell layer, my wood and bark factory. It produces new layers in both directions, the inner bark moving outward and the sapwood moving inward. Inner bark, my new layer of bark carries food made in my leaves throughout the tree. Outer bark, once inner bark, it now forms the thick layer that protects me from insects, heat, and cold. My life. Year one. Year two. Year three. Year five. Year ten. Year twenty. Year fifty. Year one hundred. Year two hundred. Year 300, year 400. And that concludes our delightful adventure with Tremendous by Bridget Heos. What an enchanting journey into the magic of nature, my wonderful viewers. I hope you enjoyed exploring the wonders of trees with us today. Before we say goodbye, Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more captivating book readings and nature-inspired adventures. Your support keeps our community of tree lovers growing strong. If you'd like to add Tremendous to your own collection, you can find the book through the link in the description below. It's a wonderful reminder of the beauty and importance of trees in our world. 
Thank you so much for joining us on this reading journey. Let's continue to cherish and protect our natural world, one tree at a time. Until our next adventure in the great outdoors, take care and happy reading.